Here we go. A real blast from the past. It is Hollywood Bowl. It went on to be known as the Hollywood Bowl effect. And I did it years ago. In fact, it was taken with my very first digital camera. It was the Nikon Coolpix 900. That's the one that sort of split in half and you could swivel it round so you could point the lens in any direction. Absolutely fantastic camera. Anyway, back to the effect. I keep getting asked, do I have a video for the Hollywood Bowl effect? In fact, just recently I was asked, do I have an action for the Hollywood Bowl effect? And I thought, what a great idea. So what we're going to be doing is bringing it up to date. I'm going to be using this image here, which is still in uh, Cardiff Bay, as the original Hollywood Bowl. We've got the Roald Dahl Plus here. We've got the Millennium Center here in this particular building. We've got uh, cinemas and the original Hollywood Bowl. It's a nice day, so I thought we'd come outside for this particular one. I said we're going to record the Hollywood Bowl effect as an action. So we need to come over to the action panel. If you haven't got yours open, if you go to window, there it is at the very top. Click on that and that'll open it for you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new set. Now a set is where we can keep various actions. So I'm going to click on this folder here there it is, there's a new set and I'm going to call this effects because I'll be putting various other effects in here as well. Just going to press OK or press enter or return. There's our effects set. Right, let's click on this little icon here. Now this little icon is to create a new action. There it is, new action. Let's give it a name. We're going to call it Hollywood Bowl and I'm going to put in 2015, so I know it's a updated version. Where are we going to put it? This is what I was talking about for the sets. We're going to go for effects, but there's all my other sets there. So in the effects one, let's click record. Everything we now do is being recorded. Right, first thing, we need to duplicate the background layer twice. So using Command J, Control J, that's Command J, Control J once, Command J, Control J again. Now to the top layer, I'm going to come to where it says Layer 1 Copy. I'm going to double click and I'm going to call this Lines. Right, Lines, let's go to Filter, let's go to Stylize, let's go to Find Edges. Now when Find Edges opens, yeah, you'll notice we've also got a little bit of color. Now there's a nifty shortcut to remove this color and that nifty shortcut is if you're using a PC, press Control, press Shift, press U. That's Control, Shift, U. If you're using a Mac, it is Command, Shift and U. That's Command, Shift, U. And there it is. That has now desaturated it. Right, we're going to switch off the lines we're going to click on the next one, the layer one. We're going to double click where it says layer one. We're going to call this blur. I'm going to press enter or return to apply it. Let's go to filter. Let's go to blur. Let's go to guess where. You got it. We're going to go to Gaussian blur and we're going to blur it by that sort of an amount there. We're going to make this completely adjustable. This is a full size image, by the way. You can see it's 33 megabytes in size. That looks pretty good where it is. You, so it doesn't matter if you overdo it. And I'll show you why in just a moment. I, I like that 23.3. So I'm going to click OK to that. Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drop down to this little half black, half white icon, which is for a create new fill or adjustment layer. Thank you. We're in the right place. We're going to go to hue saturation. We're going to click on this. And with the hue saturation, the saturation slider, I'm going to whack this all the way up to, let's go to that area there. We got plus 30. Brilliant. Right. Now what we need to do is we need to clip this to the blur layer. And to do that, we're going to come right the way down to the bottom. I'm going to click on this little square here with that uh, bent arrow. So I'm going to click on it. As we click on that, you'll notice the way this steps sideways. There's that little bent arrow showing that it's now clipped to the blur layer. Right, let's come back up to lines. Let's switch this on. Let's change the blend mode from normal. I'm going to go down to luminosity. You can see the colors coming through there. I'm going to drop the opacity down as we start to drop the opacity down into this area here. That looks pretty good round about there. 
Now to give it a little bit more definition, I'm going to come back down to this half black, half white, which is, as we know, is a create new fill or an adjustment layer. We're going to go down to levels. Now when levels opens, I'm just going to move this in a little bit. I'm going to move this in a little bit here, and we're going to use the center slider just to give us the definition. Once we've done that, we can come up to the actions. We can now stop the action by clicking on this little icon here, and there it is. That has now stopped it. Now, I did say that we can make this completely adjustable. Now, one of the ways we can make it adjustable is by inserting stops. For example, where we got the Gaussian blur here. If I click on this, you'll notice that little sort of square goes in there. You'll notice we get a little square up here showing us we've now got a stop. And if I just click on it, you can see the radius there, 23.3. That's what we put in. So if we play the action now, it'll stop there and we can change the blur. I'm going to leave that as it is, but the rest I'm not going to change. The reason for that is because we can use, yeah, we can use the layers that we've got here. And this is what's going to make it completely adjustable. Right, let's go to history. Let's do the start image. Let's come back to our actions. Let's test it out by clicking on the Hollywood Bowl 2015. We're going to click play, which is this in icon. Through it goes. It has now stopped. So I can now change the blur if I want to, but I don't. So I'm going to click OK. Through it goes. And there it is. Stopping at this position here. Now we can come over to layers. This is where we can start to make any adjustments. For example, let's just come down to our blur layer. Let's see that, how this is working. Now remember I said that you could come in, you could change, you could do things. Well, yeah, you've got the opacity slider. We can just drop down the opacity as we start to drop down the opacity on this layer. You'll notice the way we can start to, there it is, change the way that's looking. So if you want to, you can drop the opacity right down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop it down a little bit. I just like that area there. That looks pretty good. Right, let's come to the lines here once again got luminosity. You might want to try soft lights. That can be pretty good as well. Need to take it up into this sort of area here. But I think for this image, luminosity works, but it is worth experimenting depending on the image you are using. And that's the reason for showing you this. You know, you are going to have to change it. It does depend on the tonal range of the picture you are using. I've dropped it right the way down to that area there. That looks even better. Let's just come to this Let's just tweak this a little bit into that area there. Brilliant stuff. Let's come to the hue saturation. With hue saturation, let's just give this a little bit of a play into that area. Let's pick up the, uh, there it is, finger with the arrow going through it. Let's come and target the blues. Let's make that a little bit blue saturated there. Let's pick on this color here, which is red. Let's make that a little bit more saturated. And you can see the way we got the reds work in there. Let's make that more saturated. There it is. Job done. Give it a try. Play with all the settings. See what you come up with. Here is another one. So we've gone from Hollywood Bowl to Hollywood. See what I did there? <laughs> exactly the same sort of thing. You can see all the various bits and pieces. This time I've reduced the uh, opacity on the blur there down to 61%. Let's have a look at lines. Yeah, luminosity 45%. Uh, we got the, yeah, I've dropped that down to 28 there's you can see all the various bits and pieces so try it see how it works Let's zoom into 100 percent there it is you can see the effect on that looks really good in fact let's try it on this one as well zooming into 100 percent scrolling around the picture really like the way that uh, actually works with the image looking pretty good back out to fit on screen one other thing, let's come to the actions. Now, if you want to save this and use it, you may be using an older version of Photoshop. You then want to put it into Photoshop Elements or just save the action itself. If you fold this up out of the way, I'm going to click on Effects. In fact, what I am going to do is I'm going to come to this one here because I was recently asked as well. There it is, my Hayes Island effect. What I'm going to do with this is come to the top corner here we're going to go to duplicate. It is off the recording area, but I'm clicking on duplicate. You can see it's now the Haze Island effect copy. I'm going to click on this. I am going to put this into the effects folder as well. So I'm going to drop this down. This is how you can organize your uh, actions, which is the reason for showing you this. I'm going to place it in here and there it is. So we've got Hollywood Bowl. 
we got the haze island effect I need to rename it so I'm just going to double click I'm going to click on the edge there just delete that copy because we don't want to call it copy do we no right there it is right fold that up out of the way I'm going to click on this we're now going to go to the side here I'm going to drop down to save action again apologies it is off the recording area now when save actions op opens we're going to take a look at this and you can see I've already got it I'm going to click save we're going to go to replace there it is job done so that's now saved it to the desktop you can load it in other versions of Photoshop you can just save it uh, so it's out of the way and you, you know it's safe entirely up to you hope you've enjoyed the video until the next time it is happy imaging and take care